We're going to do an overview of the organs found in the cat's abdominal cavity. We'll start with the diaphragm. And caudal to the diaphragm sits the liver, the largest organ in the abdominal cavity. It's this dark organ found here. And beneath the liver is the stomach. And beneath the stomach lies the spleen, this long organ that you see here, served by the splenic artery. Between the spleen and the stomach, there's a lot of adipose tissue, and we will just move that out of our way for now. And we have the small intestine found here, and a little bit later we'll look at where that large intestine is. We're going to push those organs to the cat's right side and look at the organs along the cat's left side. First, we see the kidney, the left kidney found here get a close-up view of that kidney. And the renal vein is coming into the kidney right there. And this little bean-like structure right there is the cat's adrenal gland. So the adrenal gland has this vein that lies across the top. It's been broken in this specimen, but that is the adrenal gland found right there. Here we can see the renal vein coming from the kidney, and if we look underneath the renal vein, we can find the renal artery coming from that abdominal aorta. The large vein that you see here that is draining into the left renal vein is the gonadal vein. This is a female cat that is in the early stages of pregnancy. So this particular gonadal vein is much larger than it normally is. The gonadal on the right-hand side is seen here. On the right-hand side of the cat, just like in the human, the gonadal vein drains into the inferior vena cava. If we move from the cat's left kidney down along the left gonadal vein, we will find the gonadal artery. The gonadal artery comes off of the abdominal aorta and is seen here. As we move down the abdominal aorta past the gonadal arteries, we come to the inferior mesenteric artery. The inferior mesenteric artery travels up to the large intestine. Under the large intestine, you will find the inferior mesenteric artery lying beside the inferior mesenteric vein. As we approach the end of the abdominal aorta, we come to some of our last branches. Coming out in the transverse plane, you have the iliolumbar arteries. The iliolumbar veins lie beneath and drain into the inferior vena cava. In the cat, the terminal portion of the abdominal aorta splits two times, once to form the larger outermost branches, the external iliac arteries. This is the left external iliac artery, and this is the right external iliac artery. The cat does not have common iliac arteries. There's a short extension down from the abdominal aorta that gives off two smaller branches which are found medial to the external iliac arteries, and these are the internal iliac arteries. This is the left internal iliac artery. If we look beneath them, we could find the iliac veins. Here we have another cat showing the iliac arteries and veins. Remember we have the abdominal aorta lying next to the inferior vena cava. We can also see the iliolumbar arteries and veins lying in the transverse plane. Recall that the abdominal aorta in the cat makes two splits. The external iliac arteries are formed first and they are on the outside. There's a small extension down from the terminal portion of the abdominal aorta, shown here, which gives off two smaller branches, which are the internal iliac arteries. This particular internal iliac is going over top of the iliac vein. 
this artery along the midline here is the caudal and it's going out to the tail. If we move the arteries slightly to the side, we can get a better look at the veins. This first branch is the common iliac vein. Moving caudally from the common iliac vein, we can look deeper and find the internal iliac vein seen here. From the point of the internal iliac vein on, we call it the external iliac vein. Just to recap, this is the common iliac vein seen above. Coming off of that is the internal iliac vein going deep into the pelvis and the external iliac vein continues out into the thigh. This delineates the end of the body cavity and becomes the femoral.